welcome back to my channel I'm so glad that you're here hope you guys are all doing well this is my second attempt to join this video um so i am filming from my phone because i forgot to pack my camera i'm actually in the cat skills right now um on like a little getaway with my family this is our annual fall trip so we did it once last year with grayson and he was a newborn at the time and yeah now we're doing it again this year um i'm hoping that i can get my thoughts in order because i that video was 30 minutes long and i was rambling a lot and yeah so hopefully this one is just as good man i'm so upset so i had filmed it but it came out blurry like the whole video was blurry so obviously i can't use that i'm calling this video motherhood after loss some something along those lines but basically i wanted to do a personal video today I actually wasn't sure what i wanted to film but i was in the shower earlier <laughs> and i was just thinking like what kind of video should i do this weekend and i thought well this is something that's been on my mind lately um you know motherhood after loss so i thought you know i'm just gonna sit down and get my thoughts in order see how it goes and hopefully this video can make sense to you guys because i had a lot in my mind and i want to make this like a chit chat video um it may not make sense it might make sense so i apologize i'm just going to speak like what's on my mind i know that a lot of you guys that have reached out to me in the past are moms that have gone through a loss a lot of you guys have gone through uh, a similar experience to mine so if you're new here i lost my first baby liam when i was 19 weeks pregnant it happened very suddenly also if you hear miss rachel in the background i'm sorry but it's the only thing that can keep grayson chill right now because um i mentioned in my last video we're dealing with separation anxiety and he can't be away from his mama for too long. So gotta put Miss Rachel on every once in a while. Anyways, um, I wish you guys can see this view right now. So the cabin that we're staying in, it's all floor to ceiling windows. Actually, let me see if I can turn you around really quickly. Do you see that? I feel like pictures don't even do it justice. Like there's mountains in the back and there's just wild animals roaming around. We saw um like three or four deer this morning that was really pretty so yeah you guys motherhood after loss so i don't even know how to start how to put my words in order here again this is the second time that i'm filming this but um but something that i've been dealing with is this stage um that grayson's in this stage of motherhood has been really challenging for me um because Grayson is now 15 months. He's a toddler and he has a lot of big feelings. And this is something that obviously as a first time mom, I've never dealt with before. So I'm kind of trying to figure out how to navigate that while also giving myself grace. It's been very challenging and it's been making me think like, am I the problem? Do I need to be more patient? Am I acting this way because I had a loss? Is Grayson not getting the best version of me? So that's been really hard. Um, obviously every stage in motherhood and in your child's life has its challenges and its ups and downs, but you guys, let me just tell you, and everyone tells you this, but I'm here to tell you once again for the millionth time in your life, it goes by so, so fast. Every stage, is just a phase i used to think that the newborn slash baby phase was so hard um and yes it's difficult in its ways like you're definitely sleep deprived but i think what made it so hard was that i was going through postpartum depression like that was hard that was challenging and i wish that i had the resources that i have you know today i wish i was more knowledgeable about you know postpartum depression and anxiety i know once i became pregnant with grayson it it was like such a short time span from when i lost liam so i had lost liam april of 2021 and then i lost and then i got pregnant with 
Grayson, November 2021. So within the same year, um, I did grieve during that time period. But once I became pregnant with Grayson, not that I had forgotten about my loss, but I, I don't know, I was happy. Like I was very at peace. Um, I didn't feel scared anymore. I trusted my doctors. I just knew in my heart that that pregnancy was going to work out and I was going to have my rainbow baby after that. Whereas when I was pregnant with Liam, it's almost like, I hate to say, but it's almost like I knew something was going to happen. I, I started off that pregnancy just feeling very scared and tense and anxious and I would dread every doctor's appointment, believe it or not. Um, um, yeah, but that's like a whole other story. So I was very at peace with my pregnancy and I remember telling myself, oh, you know, once your baby's here, everything's going to be great. Like life is going to be great. I just, I, I guess I didn't think about, I didn't think about the possibility of having postpartum depression or anxiety or anything like that. So when I had Grayson and I was having all these feelings, that was really, really difficult to deal with. Um, I wasn't even going to bring it up to my doctors. I just remember I had gone to an appointment and I might have mentioned, mentioned this in one of my videos, but I had mentioned it to my nurse and she, or no, I didn't mention to it mention it to her she just kind of saw it in me she pulled me aside and she was like are you okay and i remember breaking down and that's when she was kind of educating me on postpartum depression and luckily my husband was there at the time so she was educating him too and yeah i just i wish i was better prepared for that because i almost feel like i wasn't the best version of myself i wasn't the best mom to grayson he didn't get the best version of me and sometimes i feel that way still like i told you guys i was feeling like this stage right now has been the hardest and it crosses my mind you know am i not being the best version of myself is he not getting the best version of me and it all comes back to my loss with liam um it's just that loss something so traumatic like that in my life it's gonna it's gonna carry with me forever that's the reality of of dealing with with loss and becoming a mother again after loss is that that never goes away that becomes a part of you it's up to you to decide how you're going to use that experience and kind of implement it into your life now somehow um, because i can tell you firsthand it's not something that you can just forget and pretend like it never happened it's a part of you now how are you going to go on with life how are you going to learn from that experience um i know for me this is something that everyone says but life is so short right right we all know that but if you're a mom that has gone through a loss like me that really sticks with you so knowing that that life is so short it makes me want to be more present in grayson's life it makes me want to do more experiences with him like this trip um it makes me want to just do all the things because you just never know what's going to happen in life so yeah i kind of take my grief and use it as perspective if that makes sense I really hope this video is making sense like I kind of don't even know what I'm saying here I'm just speaking out of my head and my heart so times that I feel like I'm losing my patience or um, or I we're dealing with a tantrum I just tell myself this is just a moment um, the moment's gonna pass tomorrow's a new day in 10 minutes it's a new moment like it's just it it's going to flee it's it's not here forever motherhood after loss is something that again is just a part of me it's never gonna go away yes it's gotten easier to manage like the pain has gotten better but that doesn't fully ever go away because like, i went through that and I can't erase that part of my life. And, that, and I also know that I can't necessarily grieve forever. I can't be 
sad my whole life i can't be depressed i have to be i have to be better for grayson not perfect i'm not claiming that i am perfect but but he deserves all of me and i'm trying to be better at that but yeah just kind of going back to what i was saying about feeling like this stage has been the hardest um i remember i told my husband the other day i'm like this stage that grayson's in why is this so hard why can't i figure this out and yes it's hard but like anything like any stage any stage is hard you know but i also have to remind myself that we're both learning together you know i've never been a mom to a toddler this is very very new to me and you know that's okay like we're both learning together i'm giving myself grace i'm giving him grace too because my boy has a lot of feelings and um i could definitely understand you know the frustration um i just want to tell you guys if you're a mom and you feel like you're in the thick of it you have to give yourself grace don't beat yourself up and feel like you're not good enough because guess what you may not be perfect but to your children's eyes you are perfect you are the best mom in the world to them you are all they know so just remember that they love you unconditionally and something that i've learned um just from watching tiktoks and youtube the reason why sometimes your toddlers have these crazy meltdowns and tantrums is because they feel the safest around you to be able to have those feelings if you think about it so kind of think about it that way that's kind of like what i've been trying to get with this video is what life has been like after my loss um with the last clip that i recorded that came out blurry um, I'm gonna look back on it and if there were any good talking points, I'll just insert them on here because I'm like blanking out right now and I really want to just put all my thoughts in here. So anyways, on another note, Grayson turned 15 months yesterday and I wanted to give you guys just a little update on his milestones. I don't want to share too much. While I do like these videos, I don't want to come off as or I don't want to make you feel like you ha you have to compare your baby to my baby and or vice versa. Um, that's not what this is about. Um, I just want to, you know, just share with you guys like where we're at right now. So he is a ball of personality. He's very fiery. Um, he's a Leo. So yeah, if that doesn't tell you then. Um, but he's just running around like crazy all the time, climbing on things, getting into things he is extremely independent right now holy moly he doesn't like to feel confined so doesn't like the stroller it doesn't like the car seat um he just wants to run around doesn't want me to hold his hand so that has been a little bit challenging especially when we're out and about um if my husband's not there with me i it's really hard for me to um take him out on my own because it's hard like chasing after him um for example yesterday we were at a brewery which is on a farm um so it was it was fine like he can run around but you know there were other dogs and kids and he just kept wanting to run up to every dog and you don't know how other dogs are going to react right so having to pull him out of certain um scenarios without him throwing a fit um that's hard he's just very independent and also things like food he does not like his food to be cut god forbid i cut his sandwich into pieces or anything he freaks out he's like how dare you try to cut up my food he just wants to be a big boy so so bad and at first i saw that as like such a like a negative thing but now like i love that about him i love that he's so independent and he knows what he wants and he won't back down um it just adds to his to his big personality as far as speaking he's not saying i mean he does say words but he he says more sounds um he does say mama he does say dada he says dada more though he says ball and he says all of like the animal farm farm animal sounds he loves animals so much he's able to follow direction a little bit so if i tell him hey give me a diaper or hey grab me that ball like he'll do it and i think that's so so cool um so i know that he's understanding he knows he's funny 
he tries to grab the TV remote from me all the time and he thinks it's like the funniest thing. Um, he chases after Snow 24 seven. When Snow has her leash on, Snow is my dog by the way. So <laughs> when Snow has her leash on, he um, holds the end of the uh, leash and he's just like trying to walk her and it's the funniest thing. So yeah, he's just so spunky and so fun. Yeah, those are just some of the things that he's doing. Um, oh, actually, um, he's also singing along to some of his favorite songs. So like the Itsy Bitsy Spider, he'll like do the hand movements and everything. And I just, I love that. I think it's so cute. Um, and he loves soccer. So anywhere that there's a ball, you best believe that boy is kicking that ball around. Um, he's a natural and it's really cool to see. Um, but yeah, those are pretty much some of the updates. Like I said, I don't want to go into detail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.